Um, welcome back to another video. My name is Mark McGuire. In today's video, we have the RIT Fit Sports M1 2.0. This is the updated version. There's a few nice touches and things they've improved. So we're going to go through each component of this all-in-one power rack that you see behind me. This is their flagship. This is probably the most sold product on their website and for good reason. It comes in right around $1,000. Comparing that to maybe Rep Fitness or Rogue Fitness, theirs are upwards of $4,000, $5,000. This one, affordable. You could purchase this and you have everything you need. Rit Fit Sports M1 2.0. Let's just dive right into this. We'll talk about each component. Let's go. The dimensions of this power rack right here, you have 68.1 inches front to back. 85.3 inches tall, which is perfect for me in my space. The fact that I can fit it right here in this location, uh, underneath my garage door, still open and close my garage door. The pull-up bar is perfect for me too, because at just five foot seven, I can slightly bend my legs. It's a multi-grip, so it's got like this little neutral grip, this little supinated grip, and then the straight bar. This is something that they changed, I believe. They made it a little bit thicker, although there is no like knurling. I do, I do like knurling, but this powder coat seems nice. You can get a good grip. It's nice to see, again, them taking feedback and they're utilizing it to improve it and make it a better, more enjoyable user experience. The pull-up bar being an example of that. Getting into the uprights themselves, this is two by two tubing, one inch holes every maybe three inches apart. There's 13 holes for your J-cups for your um, safety spotter arms and your, your dip handles. The red looks super sharp to me. I love red and black, the color scheme, uh, but they also sell this in a black version as well. Getting into the actual cables themselves, they've upgraded the cable system. So it's got all aluminum pulleys now. It's got these nice D handles that it comes with that, are, that have knurling on them, which again, just user experience smooth cable travel, nice D handles that it comes with instead of the little flimsy plastic D handles that a lot of, a lot of companies send out. It's got the plate loaded trolley system for the cables. So you add weight to both sides of the trolley and then you load it up that way. It's a two to one cable system. So it's going to feel like half a hundred pounds on there. It's going to feel like 50 pounds. Most optimal experience. It's going to be, you're going to want like a 25 on, on one side and a 25 on the ends, other side. So it's evenly balanced. The horns for it are long enough where you can stack on a bunch of 45 pound plates. The next thing I'm assuming is coming from Red Fit Sports, a weight stack version of this. I feel like that would be cool just for the ease of use, the approachability. You don't have to worry about taking weights off and putting weights on when you can just pop a pin and change the weight that way. I feel like that's that's gotta be the next thing that's coming. So if it, this had a weight stack option, it would be very appealing to a lot of people. You add a little bit of lubricant to this. You add a little WD-40 periodically. These trolleys are smooth, 15 different holes for your cable system. It's on these nice rollers too. So it's very easy to move up and down the uprights. They don't get marred and scarred all that bad if you if you are smart about pulling this out all the way. But if you're not, then it will get scratched up pretty easily. It's got this big, nice plastic pin and you can tighten it down if you want it extra secure. These are about 180 degree swivel. That way you have all this space. You can you work over here, you can work over here, whatever you want to do. So that's the cable system, but getting into my favorite part of this and I think it's worth worth the money just for the Smith machine. It feels so good. It's super smooth. 35 pound bar, feels extremely smooth. I love the added safety of a Smith machine. I love having a Smith machine in my home. I actually previously had Rit Fit Sports. They sell a standalone Smith machine with a lat pull down and low row. A very nice, affordable way to get a Smith ma machine into your home. I enjoyed that Smith machine so much. So seeing this M1 2.0 with the Smith machine, I love it. And it's got good travel too. Some Smith machines, they stop like super high off the ground. This one, it's low enough off the ground. It almost mirrors a regular barbell when it's loaded up with like a 45 pound plate on the ground, maybe like an inch or two taller, but great travel. 
You can do bent over rows, you can do deadlifts. I love doing bench press, incline bench press with the Smith machine. I love doing squats with a Smith machine because I can kind of lean into the bar and uh, do like a sissy squat and do different variations of squats you can't do with a regular barbell on your back. So having the option to do regular barbell work or a Smith machine barbell work, I'm usually just leaning towards the Smith machine for the ease of use, the convenience, the bar's already there. I can raise it up super easy, load up some weight plates and be off to work. Not only that, it has all these storage options. Having a cable machine on your uprights is cool, but you also have to consider that you have J-cups, you have um, safety spotter arms and things like that. So you wanna easily take them off and put them somewhere out of the way. That way you can utilize your whole entire upright. I can put the J-cups and, and the safety spotter arms and everything over here. These band pegs that I'm not using, uh, it's got six different uh, weight horns for storage that are rear facing. Because I have my unit pushed up so far against the wall, it is kind of hard to get to them, but I could always push it out a couple inches. But usually the, the weight just lives on these uh, weight horns for the trolley system anyway. Then it's got three barbell holder up here. I'm pretty sure mine's facing the wrong way, but it's just easier for me to access it that way. It comes with a lat pull down bar. I mean, it's cool that they upgraded the D handles, but they could have upgraded the lat pull down bar and the straight bar as well, because these are just the regular kind of rubber handles. At least they upgraded the D handles. We got a T bar row because this thing does come with a landmine attachment as well. Uh, landmine exercises, you can do different rotational stuff. You can do heavy T bar rows. Uh, having a landmine just thrown in is a nice touch. Again, they had the band pegs thrown in as well, which is a nice touch. Dip handles, let me get those real quick. So these dip handles, nice and thick, thicker than they were, I believe. Just add these to the upright and uh, you can get your dips in that way. Feels heavy duty. All in all, yeah, I'm impressed with this thing. It's, it's for the money, you really can't beat it. It's got great appeal to it. The aesthetic of it, all the nice finer touches with the aluminum pulleys, the new D handles, having the Smith machine with that great range of motion, and it feels super smooth. The smoothest part, the best part for me about this is by far the Smith machine. But having everything else included is just an added benefit. Having all the storage solutions, the cable machine, you can do everything on this rack. I'm trying to think of some some different things that you might need to know if you are interested in this. I would say, like I, like I already talked about, the height's good, especially for basements or, or underneath garage doors. It's stable. I like working off the front of the rack if I am gonna do some barbell work, so I don't mind that it, it's not a full-on power rack. I would say if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Again, keep working hard, whatever you're doing in your home gym. Just try and better yourself every day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.